couch Dogs need the lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff in which we continue the 12 string series. As I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the series, the dogs won't be joining us for the 12 string series because it's a huge guitar, it scares them a little so uh, it's just gonna be me and technically the camera, but it's just gonna be between me and you. So uh, in this video we're gonna start uh, exploring with drop D. Okay, so tune the sixth and the 12th string uh, down to D. Okay, so you have a low, a low D bass note. And uh, what we're gonna do is start exploring. Before we even start, I wanted to open the first string. So you get okay, that. Okay, you get that add nine sound. So immediately, even if you just play the, the, the notes of, of that D sus2 chord, sounds completely different than what we're used to, right? And that's the, the, the weapon at our disposal. Suddenly we have this high note. So if we just start by playing a predictable pentatonic tune, it would sound completely different if we do 3 and 0 on strings uh, 4, 5 and 6. Sounds completely different than what we're used to because we, we're getting high notes. We're getting high notes, we're playing the bass notes, but we're getting high notes. So we have to get used to that. Okay? And again, try to be completely random. Get out of your comfort zone. And again, my secret, it's not a secret, it's a technique, um, but my secret to getting a unique sound is by playing strings one, or two, or both of them, one after another, um, after each bass lick. It could be a single note, it could be a lick, but after each bass note, I, after each use of my thumb, I play a finger. I play strings one or two. Sometimes the third string, but mostly one or two. And that creates the whole sound. Just looking for sounds. I'm not playing music yet, I'm just exploring. Okay, now, again, this is confined to this D chord. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to surprise myself. I'm going to try and play um, a major chord. I'm going to D major 7. Okay, which is strings 1, 2, and 3 with a bar on 2. Okay, all of them on 2. So maybe this will give me a different sound. So do this here to get a little bit of those octaves there. Okay, so you can do seven, six, seven on strings two, three, and four. Okay, but I'm hearing something interesting here. You have. 
you have a, f uh, a, a power chord. Okay? So you can play that. Put two, two, and two instead of strings on, on, on strings one, two, and three. You can put them on strings six, five, and four, and then you have E minor, right? I'm wondering what happens if we put both chords on E minor and D major seven. Let's see what happens if we do this. <laughs> okay, now it's F sharp minor. Okay, bar on two on strings one, two, and three, but with four, four, four on strings four, five, and six. So. And if we open the bass string, suddenly it's D major seven again. You could never get this sound out of a regular guitar, never. I think you can also open strings 1, 2, and 3 while having 4, 4, and 4 on strings 4, 5, and 6. Let's... This would work on a different tuning, I have a feeling. So if we turn, if we go back to minor. Okay? And you can play D minor like this, D minor add nine by playing um, strings 2, 3, and 4 on 3, 2, 3. And this creates an interesting D minor sound with a 12 string. Because of the high notes harmonizing the low notes. You can take this around. Again, if you take this to 7, it becomes D major 7. So you can play around between those two. Take it anywhere and see what what comes out. If we go to nine, it becomes. Uh, if we go to ten, sorry, ten, nine, ten, it becomes a a minor. But if we go to twelve, interesting, right? If we go to nine this time, nine, uh, eight, nine, it becomes E major seven over D. Take it to five. We can turn it into a diminished chord by playing five three five. finding sounds okay but open D uh, 
sorry, not open D, drop D is still very close to the standard tuning. So you're still confined to some sounds. You're still confined to the standard tuning uh, logic. So in the next lesson, we're gonna actually start opening the guitar for new sounds. We're gonna try open tuning, which is gonna be really interesting. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now, enjoy.